In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the Tidal product review Shopify app. So let's get right into it. Now, first of all, to go ahead and actually add the app to your store, you're going to have to go to the Shopify app store and go to the Tidal uh, page. And there should be a button here that says install app. You can install it to your store and it starts off as a free plan. There's also a paid plan that you can go ahead and uh, upgrade to if you'd like to. So once you've done that, it should look something like this. And the first thing we want to go ahead and do is we want to go ahead and enable the widget. So we're going to click this button here and it should take us to this page here and there's going to be a widget status bit. We can turn this on and the widget should now be active on our store. And one thing we have to do now is we have to go to our actual online store. So go under sales channels to online store and we need to go ahead and customize our theme and we basically need to turn on the app inside of Shopify. So we're going to go customize theme. Then here in the left hand corner, there should be a thing that says app embeds. We want to click on that, turn it on. And that should mean that the app is now working on the store. So that's the first steps. So now that we've gone ahead and done that, the next thing they recommend you do is you go ahead and click the view brand setting section. And in here we can edit basically what everything looks like. So starting off here, we've got the review list. So this allows you to change the text and you can look across in here. This is what the widget is going to look like. If you look across here, this, you can change this text and it will change these bits here. So, um, if I change this bit of text here, you can see it correlates up to here. And this when it has like these weird double brackets, this is like a dynamic tag. So I would probably keep that as it is unless you know how to edit that stuff. But this is going to change, but the reviews count in it. Uh, if it's got no reviews, it's going to say this. Uh, this is the shop name here. You can change all of these to your liking. So where it says write a review, you could change it to add your opinion if you wanted to. These are just small changes, but you can go ahead and do this if you want to. Next up, we've got the allow visitors to submit a review from the storefront, which means they can go onto your store and um, put a review as opposed to getting it through email. You've got the show review date. You've got the amount of reviews per page, so you can increase that. Beware that if you do increase it, it can slow down your loading time, all that kind of stuff. Date format, you can change that here. Uh, and then they've got the summary stuff you have to upgrade for this and then the voting and recommendations you also have to upgrade for that but these features essentially allow you to or allow people to upvote downvote um, different reviews stuff like that so next up we can go ahead and edit all of these bits here so we've got the select rating section we can change the text here we can change what the stars look like um, we can change it from words to numbers we can change the captions, so these bits under here. This is basically when people go ahead and actually uh, go to review the product, essentially. So you can change all this to your liking. Press save. And then next up, we've got the upload media bit. So this allows people to upload a photo of their product. You can change all this stuff here. You could also allow them to have other media types, such as videos, but you have to um, upgrade the plan again. Then we have the tell us more bit. So this is a bit of a detailed review that they'll put in. So you can change all the text on here. The title page, so add a title for your review. You can just basically change all of the text here to sound like your brand, essentially. The about you, so your name, email, that kind of stuff. Success page, so this is, um, you might want to change if you want to put a discount in. So to incentivize people to actually go ahead and leave a review, you might say something like leave a review and get 10% off. What you could do here is you could put a discount code and it'd be like, um, use code, I don't know, one, two, three, X, Y, Z to get 10% off. You could put that as just a way to say thank you and incentivize people to actually leave a review. So I press save. Now we have translations here. So this is just for like the common fields, so such as back and skip. And that's all the writing stuff. 
Next up, we have this um, powered by section. So if you want to remove the powered by title bit, you can do that. Well, it's coming soon, it says. And then the next bit, one of the most important bits for you is probably the colors. So you can change the colors for your brand. So if you want to change the star color to like a, a blue, for example, we could do that. If we want to change the background colors, the title colors, all of this stuff, we could uh, change it so it matches our brand and, our, and you know, the theme of our store. Uh, we could change the, just all these different bits here we can change. So go ahead and do that. Make sure it looks similar to your store so it matches, not a complete mismatch. This is quite important. So now we've got the show review stars and product title. So underneath a product title, it will say how many reviews it has and what the, and, um, the average amount of stars it's got. You can turn that on or off. And lastly, you've got this custom CSS and selectors bit. So you can change the, um, cut, like do the HTML, that kind of stuff. But usually you won't need to do that. You might want some specific formatting or something in there that you could go ahead and do. Now over here in the requests queue, this is where you are going to send requests to customers to actually leave a review on the product. And this is done with emails. So we can go over here to the email section here and they've got review request, review request reminder, review discount, and review reply. So by default, the top two are turned on, and we can go ahead and press edit, and we can actually edit what the emails will be like. So we can go ahead and change the subject line, the title, subtitle, button here. Uh, so this is the button here. Subtext, uh, you can change the store details, all of that kind of stuff. And you can go ahead and send a test email here and that will send it to your store um, email. And you can see it's from that, this is like a preview of what the whole thing is going to look like. And then on review request two, this is just like a, a follow up. And of course the review discount, you can turn this on and this is going to incentivize them with a discount code, which you can see here. But you should turn these on or off depending on if you're using another email platform. If you're using Klaviyo, I'd recommend putting this into Klaviyo or MailChimp because it's just going to be um, a lot easier to have it all in one place and there's a lot more flexibility of stuff like Klaviyo. And if we go into settings here, we can change the review request timings. So it will send the first email 14 days after fulfillment. You can change this up or down and then it will send the one, the re reminder seven days after the initial email you can change that as well and if they go ahead and actually uh, leave a review it won't send the second one you can set up the discounts here you can set up all the email details here um, notifications uh, you can set put a notification here in case uh, someone puts some information in they will send it to you so you can approve it and then they've got the import review section and what you can do here is you can get a csv file and this CSV file is, you can edit it in um, Google Sheets, for example. You can uh, use this just to import a lot of reviews that you might have for your products. It's a super useful way instead of having to do it manually one by one. We've got review moderation here, so you can automatically turn on um, reviews that are above a certain star rating in here. And all of the reviews are going to come to here, so you can manually check on them and approve the ones you want to and remove the ones that you don't want to if you want to remove any negative reviews. And now if I go onto the product page, pretending I'm a, a usual customer, you can see that the reviews bar is up here and also the reviews tab is here. We can add our opinion and this is all set up as we set up earlier. We can add our photo, we can skip it, we can put some text in here, we can title it, put our names in, uh, all that kind of stuff and it's going to show up on the, the uh, review section and that is essentially how you use the app how you implement it and basically a full beginner's guide to it so if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like subscribe and comment down below that helped thank you for watching